Hi, this is Nikki and I'm here to share the messages that I get from Spirit and from all of our higher selves that are having us back on this journey to unconditional love. Love of the journey, love of each other. Back to our soul group that are most definitely helping us back to this journey of complete unconditional love. And I've been guided to set up a crystal grid which uses Holy Fire Reiki. I was guided to set it up on the um, Lion's Gate and it basically is this and it's centered around um, the forest lovers which are at the heart of the crystal grid and they're entwined together for eternity just as you are if you are a twin flame. And so um, you receive pieces of rose quartz and when you meditate with the rose quartz and send love out to your twin, it basically aligns your energies, brings you into balance and also grounds the energies of as above, so below because crystals are very grounding, um, rose quartz is for unconditional love. And then everything that I'm guided to do with the grid, it then goes out to everyone and the power of doing it together, the power of doing it collectively is huge. And so um, I also do divine love healing so I can connect to your souls and get you the messages that your souls want you to know to put you on your highest path. So that could be for anything really. It could be for your divine love journey. It could be for your soul purpose. It could be for where you need to be for your soul purpose. It could be anything. So anything, any sort of message, it's just about putting the intent into the healing. Because what I see is I see um, everything like a film. And then I give you a write-up and you receive a three-card angel read and or a love note from the universe, whichever I'm guided to do. And um, a um, guided mantra as well, which is again from your soul. So basically, once you repeat that mantra, it brings up your energies and makes you in a vibrational space for you to really create the life of your dreams. And so at the moment I'm doing a special offer, £40 only for Crystal Grid membership plus a healing. And once you're in the grid, you're in it for life. So I then do any healing that I do for everyone on the grid goes to everyone. So it's a collective healing. And so um, I do it once a week for a specific distance healing for everyone on the grid. But then whatever I'm drawn to will go for everyone. Okay, and so just, just some messages. So yesterday um, I saw this, well, I saw many, but this is just one funny thing that I thought I'm going to use, because, or I've been guided to use, uh, because it is a twin bottles of wine with the letter B on them. And the other thing I noticed straight away is, is that it has, B is all about prosperity, but I also noticed, very. I thought this is a peony. So this morning I was guided to look at the symbolism for peony. And so what I saw was this. So the peony, the traditional floral symbol of China, the state flower, flower of Indiana and the 12th wedding anniversary flower. Peonies are known as the flower of riches and honor. With their lush, full, rounded bloom, peonies embody romance and prosperity and are regarded as an omen of good fortune and a happy marriage. So what's really been interesting recently is about the symbolism that we've been getting. So the symbolism that we've been getting in either flowers or trees or, you know, or animals has all been about it's it's been either about health and good uh, so wealth and good fortune and prosperity it's been about marriage it's been about um strength and it's been about rising up in vibration so what i have also seen recently is um and somebody sent me from the Christ uh somebody sent me a thing around um uh a serpent um that she had heard in her meditation now, as it goes, yesterday in a healing that I did, I, in a few healings I've had snakes, right? And um, the reason why I'm saying this message came out today is because um, I have some um, B&B guests staying with me and I always get things brought to me through spirit, through my surroundings, right, and people. So this morning, the conversation that I had with my B&B guest, she said that she doesn't want to do <laughs> randomly conversation, saying that she will donate all parts of her apart from her skin. She actually said, I don't want to shed my skin. And then also she said about her grandmother got a massive gold coin necklace given to her. Um, and the other thing she said that her twin brother has two tattoos, one of Archangel Michael and it has an Archangel Michael prayer on her, on him. And the other is he has a massive phoenix on his back 
and it and the phoenix is burning up out of the ashes so i was sat there and i was just like oh my goodness this is just surreal so um so i knew that the message for today was one well, going to be about the gold coin because this is a gold coin that i did a healing for matt the divine masculine on this channel and quite often i get given gold coins or i was given gold coins and healings and this is about thanks for your loyalty and so this is why, again, this, this journey is so cool because this is basically your divine love saying thank you for continuing on with this journey. Not only that, but this is the universe saying thank you for your loyalty, for sticking with this journey because it is not an easy path. Anyone can fall off it at any time because it is all about belief, right? It's about believing in your truth, believing in the power of oneness, and the believing in the power of love. And so, the reason why this is again perfect is because the person that I did a healing for and I saw a snake, um, she then came back to say, I was listening to the video of Follow Your Heart that you did where you were referring to the mantra on your old video, the one with the map, I talked about it yesterday. And you were also talking about the time or timestamp. I click on the link to be taken to that video to see the mantra and the video's time, I noticed, was 8.11. One of the last times I talked to my twin, he had come close to my area for work and he said to me, I was so close to your exit last night and I happened to look at the time as I went through there. It was right at 8.11. Now, she actually came to me for healing yesterday. So you see how your twin spirit works through things, <laughs> through, just like I was saying, twin spirit works through all my surroundings. That's what happens with these messages because it's almost like, you know, I can always see when somebody sends me a message, then I almost know that their twin spirit is going to be communicating in some way, right? Which is why it's just so amazing. So the other thing I'm going to say is about the snake symbolism because this has been coming through because somebody else had sent me this. She had this coming through in her meditation, which is Quetzalcoatl. I don't know what this. But I look it up and it is the god Quetzalcoatl is the feathered serpent, obviously serpent snake, or precious twin. He is the god of intelligence and self-reflection, a patron of priests. So this is a god of creation, a giver of life. So basically, this is, I think, an Eastern god, right? In yesterday's, uh, when I went to the planetarium, the whole thing is about East meets West. So again, perfect that this, uh, uh, this, that this is coming through now. So because this had come through as well, and um, I've had snakes coming through in people's healings, then I was like, right, I'm going to look at the snake symbolism. So I'm just going to read out what it is because the snake is a legendary totem symbolizing transformation of energy from lower vibrations to higher aspects of mind, body and spirit. Snake sheds its skin in a ritual representing rebirth and new beginnings with an ability to leave the old skin behind. Snake represents a fascinating metamorphosis. Exactly what we're going through now, right? This is the first day after the equinox. It's a rebirth, right? It's new beginnings. It's fresh energy. It's why, you know, you need to basically, it's all about self-love and rebirth at the moment, which is why all of these messages have been perfect because it is about, you know, rebirthing. Um, the phoenix is all about burning up out of the ashes. Archangel Michael is here to support us on this journey. I mean, there's just, you know, the symbolism is just off the scale. So, um, Snake is a very self-aware being, carrying many healing energies and meanings dealing, dealing with perception of the physical realm. Snake's ability to perceive its surroundings through vibration or heat signatures are its hidden greatest powers. Vibrations carrying hidden messages permeating through all of time and space. In sensing these vibrations, we can use the vibrations as compasses helping us to find our direction. Snake slithers across the earth sensing the vibrations or heat beneath it, translating the energy of other living creatures to determine its direction, deciding if it wants to pursue or avoid an encounter. Like the snake, if we tap into this realm of vibrations, we too can sense what to avoid or pursue. Snake is a sun worshipper. A snake requires a lifelong relationship with the sun. There is an eternal bond between the snake and the sun. The sun generously gives its healing, sustaining warmth to the snake, and the snake transforms that energy into the energy of light, the energy of healing for others. 
In sacred ritual, the snake, to fi the snake to finds a place to absorb the heat of the sun and allows its body to be a vessel of healing energy for itself and others. The sun is so vital to the snake that without the sun, the snake will not survive. It is this gift to take the energy of the sun and change it into something else that gives the snake the magic of transmutation. Well, I mean, you know, you could just say that the snake is the twin flame journey, right? Because what this is, is about vibration. So what they're saying is, is that basically the symbology of this is that your vibration is, um, is determined by how much love you give it, right? Or, or how much love energy you put into yourself, your surroundings, everything around you. Because when you're working with the love vibration and when you enter into that state of just being pure, unconditional love, then, you know, your world lights up like the sun. And so that's why, again, this is all so perfect because it is, you know, the start of spring. It's a new beginning. It's the start of, you know, really, really, really embodying the fullness of unconditional love into every single area of your life and really believing, you know, that you are on this path for a reason because it is all about the power of belief because you do hold your sacred key for each other. The twin flames, you know, you are bound together for eternity, right? For eternity. So there is no separation. You are always together and you have to believe that you're here for a purpose. And so when your time is right, then you'll be put together. And, you know, I can see that really, really clearly. So, you know, these things, you know, these things that, you know, the video is eight point eight minutes long eight and eight eleven long and then her twin had actually said to her last time oh i nearly came to see you at eight eleven you know this what this is what's so amazing it really is quite amazing how spirit works so you just have to trust 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 and just to remember the rebirth so the snake is fertility and rebirth. Historically, serpents and snakes represent fertility or a creative life force. As snakes shed their skin through slowing, they are symbols of rebirth, transformation, immortality and healing. The orbis is a symbol of eternity and continual re renewal of life. All right, well, listen, I hope that helps. And just know this, we are on a journey, rising up and up and up and up and up. And the other thing is, yesterday's um, yesterday's message about the, um, uh, the giraffes, somebody on their Facebook, just after they watched the video, they had this pop up. Basically, it's a whole load of giraffes going up and up and up and up and up. And then diving off a diving board into the sea, into a swimming pool, and then coming out. So basically, again, symbolic of that is all about rising up and up and up and up and using the rivers of love and the rivers of life to purify you and cleanse you so you can rise up higher and higher and higher in the love vibration. All right, well, listen, I hope that helps. And look at that, it's got eight there, symbol of infinity. There you go. Well, you can't get any more signs just in one thing, right? All right. Well, listen, I hope that helps. Take care. Have a good day and enjoy the start of spring. All right. Take care. Bye.